All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of the Soldier series of Mass Effect. Before we get in the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications so you get notified of every video that is post that I post. That being said, let's get down to it. Okay, there we go. Let's go. This episode will be dealing with Helena Blake, and then we'll see about going to um, the Ars Dig site. But before we go, we're going to go downstairs and we're going to see about selling some equipment here. Uh, let me... Make sure Ryo rounds. We might keep one. And the incinerary rounds we want to keep. Okay. Cable laser, that rail extension we want to keep too. All right. Keep, keep a couple of those. There we go. Oh, they're stabilizers. Well, we'll keep one just in case. Um. There we go. Ooh, a katana. We can. Yeah, there we go. Let me make sure there's no... What do we have for you? Okay. A rail extension? Okay. We'll keep a... Ooh, a stiletto upgrade. Okay. Okay. Incinerary will keep one incinerary, okay. You, you. Keep that kinetic buffer, we might need it. Medical interfaces we'll keep for now. There we go. Okay. So now we'll check to make sure everybody's all set for equipment. before we sell anything. Okay.
You don't need anything. You could use a tornado. Real extension for you, Estola. For you, Ooh, cryo rounds are actually better than the phasic rounds. You get more shots and a better... There we go. Guardian... Okay. Okay, Mr. Garris needs nothing. <laughs> Sniper. Okay. Rex. Needs nothing. Why do you have proton rounds? I was going to say. Predator doesn't do shit for you. Okay. Allie. Ooh, stiletto. 
There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay. We're all set to go. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. <laughs> okay. So, we are going to get the assault rifle first. Then I want to check... For some armor. Which we aren't getting any. We'll do the shotgun. Yoink. Yoink. But I do want to try those, um... Shit, I sold them. Fuck. That's okay. Next time I get cryo rounds, I'll try them. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but... Yeah, I've seen some interesting things. <laughs> I'll bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts, organs mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market, but they're not as bad as the psychos. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs, had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. There was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. You mean threatened? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. 
He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He paid them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs, but they wouldn't listen. Well, it's not worth the risk. You pursue the vessel and disable it. That's the best choice. They sent the military after him, but he got away just the same. Yes, they did. I went to Patton and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. If you don't care about the fate of those hostages, then you're no better than he is. You're just a terrorist with a badge. Yeah, maybe you're right. It doesn't make it any easier, but I see your point. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart, his idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit? Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, sir. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that? No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes, a meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, 
and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years, but it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Okay. So, um, when you do the Geth incursion quest like we did in the last episode, um, you get the option to either let Tally make a copy of that data or tell her no, it's ours, you're not going to take it. I'm always nice to Tally and I always say take it because I just don't have the heart to tell her no. I, I don't know why. I, I just don't. So, we also got Garrus' special quest for Dr. Saleon. Well, Dr. Hart. Um, so we'll deal with that next. You don't have to take Garrus with you, but um, I do. Because um, it, I just think it's cool. From Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong Cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Okay. But we're done in this system. We're gonna go to the Kepler Verge. We'll deal with Garrus' mission first at Herschel. Of course, we gotta examine all the planets, make sure there's nothing we need to pick up. Free experience, you know. I don't think there is, being Dr. Salion's here. We did get that asteroid, though. Okay, I want that experience. I want that money. Beans, I'm able to upgrade. I uh, got uh, a couple of Spectre weapons. Okay. 
So I will bring Garrus for this. And I'll bring Rex for it too, why not? Okay. Garrus. And you, what do we want to do with you? We'll do that. And we'll do throw. Okay. Okay. So... I, what is it about every time you swap guns with Shepard... He always defaults to his assault rifle or to his sniper rifle. I I don't understand that. Heads up. There we go. And we leveled up again, which is nice. Um, what do we want to do with you this time, Shepard? We're doing warp. That's what we're doing. Okay. And then you, Mr. Garris Vicarian, what are we doing with you? Assault training? Just to get you to advanced? And throw so we can get you to advance. Okay. Area secured. Oop. Okay. Nothing, nothing. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. We'll take him in. Drop him off with the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Th okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. So he dies anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Aww. We'll have to bring Tally in here. Ooh! It's a upgrade to Phoenix for Ashley. Nice. Okay, so what I will do, I will go and get Tally, and I'll just bring her back in here. Just so we can, um, open up those lockers. If the ship doesn't despawn, I'm not sure if it will or not, but 
If it doesn't, I'll bring Tally back in here and we'll get all those items. Because you never know what'll be in those lockers. We need to go downstairs and equip that phoenix on Ashley so we don't sell it by accident. And we may as well talk to Garrus when we're down there because he'll want to talk to us about Dr. Saleon. Oh, but it does less. But I gain tech and biotic protection, though. There we go. Commander, how are you? Okay. Well, like I said, we'll go back into the ship and we'll take Tally in just so we can open up those lockers. Because you net, like I said, you never know what's going to be in uh, boxes and. St lockers and stuff like that so you always want to open that stuff up and take whatever's in it because that's how you get the colossus armor i should open this locker every single time Because it's just random what you get. I, I don't know what all you're supposed to be able to get. I don't know if you get um, high-powered weapons or what in Shepard's Locker. Okay. Yep, we can go back in. Okay. We'll take Tally and Ashley. Because we're not going to fight anything. I just wanted Ashley and so I could um, do her points. We'll go there, there, and we'll get your first aid. Okay. And then you. We need our hacking. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm not going to get this one, it looks like. Yep. I know what people are going to say. Why not just use Omni Gel? Because I'm a cheap bastard, that's why. Damn it. There we go. There. Oh, and I missed one. <laughs> Cryo explosives. All right. Yeah, you don't want to leave that stuff. You want to pick that stuff up. You never know what's in there. You know, there could have been Colossus armor. You know, you never know. You never know.
Okay, now we'll go to the next galaxy here. Or star cluster, or whatever, you know. Or star system, or whatever, you know. Patch it through. I've received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? All four scientists worked on a classified project on a coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. It was classified as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. You think these scientists had something to do with the attack? I'm not certain what I think, but it's worth investigating. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Okay. That's where we land. Survey. Survey says. <laughs> Okay. Then we'll land. We're not dealing with yet. So we'll take Tally. And why not? We'll bring Caden because we haven't had him out in a while. So, well, actually, we did in the Geth incursion, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. So... I'm going to save just in case. And I'm going to restart the um, record, so I'll be right back just in case. All right, I'm back. See, we're lagging a little bit. Now. Okay, there we go. There we go. Hey, why are we lagging so bad? right now. Okay, there we go. I smushed a bug. We'll get this artifact here. There we go. Now which way we want to go this time? So, anyway, while I'm driving, I'm just going to bullshit here. Um, I went out and had to go to the pharmacy again today. I had to pick up some other things. Um, had to get the transmit my new transmitter for my Dexcom G6. Them expire every 90 days. So, um, like I said, every 90 days you have to change out the transmitter. And it's more because the battery dies to it. The battery only lasts 90 days. 
but the receiver will tell you, um, oh, this uh, transmitter's only got like two more uses or or two more cycles is what they call it. Um, So, I mean, the Dexcom G6, I, I love my Dexcom. I mean, it's so much better than sticking myself and using test strips, even though I have to sometimes just to confirm if my blood sugar's high or... Because sometimes the Dexcom can be wrong, and you never know, you know? So, it's good to have a meter just in case. All right. So now we'll go get the um, minerals first. Because I know it's right here. You can just go and see Dr. Wayne, but I'm not going to do that yet. I want to get the minerals first. And the best way up would be around, it looks like. Okay, there's the mineral, the gold deposit, we'll take it. Okay. And we'll get that deposit. One thing I think I'm going to make this weekend, I've got a couple of graham cracker crusts and I got a couple of um, pudding mixes. And so I'm thinking of making some pudding. And so what I'm going to do with that pudding, I'm going to put it in the graham cracker crust. Instead of a bowl, I'll put it in a graham, crack, a graham cracker crust. Well, actually, no. I'll set it in a bowl, and then I'll put it in the graham cracker crust that way. That way, then, it's less of a mess, you know? Okay, so what I want to do, I don't want to fight these guys in the Mako. I want to fight them outside. This tally, you can... Boom! Boom! 
That all of them? Area secured. Yes, it is. All right. See, if you kill people outside the Mako, I have heard that you end up getting more experience from the enemies. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but um, I could see it being the truth. That's how you do that. I used to shit on shotguns. Now I actually like them. They're fun in hell to play, play, play around with. They really are. Um, Mr. Caden needs new armor. I would imagine he does. Phoenix does better. So, huh? But he gets more shields with Guardian, so... That Predator is probably good for Garrus. We'll check it out um, before we go to Liara's dig site. Okay, a medium hydra. Stay back. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please. He's a madman. Mr. Tombs, you're insane. You need help. It's Corporal. Corporal Tombs. You don't get to lie. Not today. Today it all comes out. What all comes out? I'm listening. But I need you to put that gun down. You don't understand. I don't want to kill anyone. I, I want to go to sleep without screaming in my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. Can't you see that Tombs is crazy? Shoot him! But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on a coos. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. What kind of tests are we talking about? You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Ever had Thresher Ma acid in your veins? I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They're part of some organization, Cerberus, that runs secret tests like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or not? You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. 
The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. Toombs, if I could have helped you on a coups, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. <sighs> okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay. So we leveled up. Nice. Um, we'll do warp. And then we'll do first aid. Why not? And you will get your advanced first aid. You get advanced hacking. Okay, and we can just head on out. We got everything. Yep, we can just head on out. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Toombs seems to have found some closure, and hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. Thank you again for your assistance, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Okay, so it's time for Hostile Takeover. Let me check... Antanius to make sure there's nothing here. I don't think there's anything here, but you never know. It doesn't look like it. If not, we'll just go for hostile takeover. Yeah, okay, there's nothing here, okay. Okay. Go to Diz. The Diz system. We'll explore Diz. Okay. Get this asteroid. Okay, got some decent money out of that. And so now, we can deal with hostile takeover. This one we might want to save too, and restart the recording on we'll have to see we haven't had Ashley fight with us so fuck it hmm <laughs> well maybe not maybe it'll be okay we'll have to see Okay, yeah, it, it looks fine. Okay. I did turn off all the advanced features to um, my graphics card. 
because um, it just couldn't ha the, just couldn't handle the graphics to this game. Okay, so we'll go over this way first and get everything outside and then we may have to go deal with the... Actually, we do need to go deal with the... Well, we'll deal with it after we get this because there's um, somebody who jams your um, radar and I need the radar to know where I'm going, so... Yeah, turning off all these extra features really seem to help this game, so... Um... If I had a stronger graphics card, it... Um... I'd have these advanced features turned on, but I just don't have a strong graphics card. I have a budget one, so... You know... And I don't have five, six hundred dollars to replace the graphics card, so... This will just have to do for now, you know? Gotta work with what you got, you know? There we go. Back in the Mako. Yeah, we want to go this way first. Just so we can deal with... Um... The enemies, because like I said, one of them jams your um, radar, and I, I shouldn't have to look at the map every five seconds just to figure out where I'm going, you know? I don't know. I If I had a choice in making the Legendary Edition, I would have taken that out. Taken out the need for combat scanners and stuff like that. Because, I mean, it, it just gets annoying. It really does. Oh, maybe there is no jamming. Interesting. I thought maybe there would be. Apparently there isn't. <laughs> Fine by me, you know. Fine by me. Okay, so we'll go this way then. Because I want to get all the extra stuff first. Because, hey, it's free experience, free... Free money, free, you know, I mean, free items. Oh, er, there it is. I was going to say, where is it? There we go. Okay. We'll get the debris. Oh no, we fell over. That's okay. If you fall upside down like that, the game will automatically put you right back, right side up again. So my guess the Alliance made a feature for the Mako where if you're upside down, it'll turn itself right side up. That'd be my guess. Some hydraulic feature or something. Ah. There we go. High explosive upgrade. Nice. Ooh, yeah. We'll take that. All right. Now that we got everything, now we can go deal with the syndicate, syndicate headquarters. Up, up, and down. There we go. Up, up, and away. And again, I don't want to fight 
in the Mako. I want to fight. I betcha. Let me with the sniper rifle here. I bet you I can... Oh, I got... Look how far I was from that one. Boom. Right, no. Boom. I got them all. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I got them all with the sniper rifle. Wow. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun than hell, shooting them with the sniper rifle. And I was pretty far away, too, man. That's impressive. I can hit targets that far away, man. <laughs> Okay. Blew his hat off. Crime boss, we want to do that. Get his lackey out of there. There we go. Okay, so we got rid of the first crime boss. Cryo rounds. That's what I'm looking for. I want to test those in my assault rifle. Because what do the proton rounds do? 45 shield bypass, but you lose 20% damage. You know? I wonder if the cryo rounds are a little better. I, I want to try those out and see. Um, and here we go, a bunch of lockers we can open. Bunch of junk. Bunch of junk. But that assault rifle might go to Ashley. We'll have to see. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. There you go. Okay. Let me make sure she doesn't get any other upgrades like the katana. That's an upgrade. <laughs> oh, pistol. Um... Nope. Sniper rifle. 
Striker. There you go. Assassin doesn't quite do very well, neither does Gladiator. All right. Pistola, nothing. Shotgun. Tornado. I don't know why I'm doing this right now, but oh well. You know? Because we want to do it before we go to um, the Ars Dig site. That way, then we can get all the items at once instead of. You know, doing them now and then getting a crap ton more and then having to worry about our items jamming up our inventory. You know? So, that's just a med kit. We don't really need Omni Gel. Or not Omni Gel, but Meta Gel. Um. So, let's get out of this mine. We can go to the next uh, syndicate boss. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> Random bounce from the Mako. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. On to the next one. Which will be here in Gemini Sigma. We'll deal with the anomaly first. Or no, we won't. We'll deal with hostile takeover first. And then we'll deal with the anomaly. And then we'll go meet up with Hel Helena Blake. That'll be the plan. Okay. Get all that. Level 2 Cold Hazard. So we'll take Tally. We'll take Rex. Now this one I'm kind of concerned about. We'll have to see how the Now, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. Okay. Abandoned camp. I don't think there's anything at the abandoned camp. Of course, I've never been to it either, so... You know what? I'm going to save just in case, and then I'm going to restart the re recording just in case. I don't want to lose anything, so I'll be back here in a second. Okay, I'm back, everybody. I do that in case, my, in case something happens. I don't want to lose... Um,
progress. I don't want to lose any footage, you know, because if I have to forcibly shut down my computer, I lose the footage. So, you know, whereas if I restart the recording with a different um, file, it, it makes another file. And so I don't lose all the footage, you know, and I can start where all that happened. So, all right. There's a fuel tank. There's like some items and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I've never been to this, so... Shit. I got trapped. Nope. Nope. Sometimes it's just better to just give up and try again. There we go. Ooh, scorpion. Stiletto. Ooh, yeah. Upgrade. Nice. All right. Nothing in there. Nothing in here. It's just a couple items, it looks like. That's okay. Still worth coming over, you know. Checking out. I probably should have went around this little mountain thing, but that's okay. That's okay. Same with this one. I probably should go around it, but I'm kind of concerned the deposit is up on top, and which it's probably not. It's probably down... This, yeah, it's this way. Um, watch it be down on the bottom. There it is. I see it. <laughs> they really tucked that one away. Holy crap. This mod is such a good mod. The one that tells you where everything is on the map. Hell yeah. They should have done this in the game. They should not have made you look for the deposits, you know? I, I don't understand why the deposits weren't, ma weren't marked on the map, you know? My guess to pad the game time and get you to explore, you know? But, fuck that. Fuck that. This is so much better knowing where everything is on the map, you know? You get more experience, too, going around getting everything. More credits, too, you know. You know, one game I've been really itching to play, um... God, I was a kid when I played this, and I, I wish I had this now instead of when I was younger. The old Carmen San Diego games. You know, they had one for Windows 98. 
And it, it was pretty neat. It was a kind of a point-and-click adventure kind of deal. But you had to solve the mysteries and all that. And now that I'm older, I think I'd be able to play it and actually have fun with it. You know? And I, I wish they would release it on Steam. I mean, they released um, Roller Coaster Tycoon. And it seems to work just fine. Hell, they released Mega Race, and that was a DOS game. So why can't they get the Carmen San Diego games? On oh, see, I'd I'd love to play it. It's the same as freaking EA. How they released the Sims 2, the Sims and the Sims 3, but they won't release the original Sims on their app. And it's like, come on, man. I'm sure there's tons of people out there that would love to play it because you find the people put it online to download, but EA will take it down. And it's like, uh, shouldn't that be a, um indicator right there that people want to play it and that you would make money from it? I mean, come on, you could sell the original game for 10 bucks. 10, 15 bucks, and then sell the expansions for like, I don't know, 5, 10 bucks a piece? Let people pick which expansions they want to go up to, you know? Because the only expansion I really hated of the original Sims was Unleashed. That one was kind of stupid. I hated that one with the pets because the pets were so hard to deal with. They would crap all over your yard and they would... Um, it was just such a pain to work with them. There, we'll give Rex those cryo rounds. For his assault rifle. There you go. But yeah, that... I, I would love to buy an original copy of... I would like to buy a legitimate copy of the original Sims. Another game I'm kind of thinking of doing too, I'm actually thinking of getting uh, both versions, is um, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare. I, I get one and two. And I would, I'd love to get footage of those games, because those games were fun. Those games were fun and hell to play. Yeah, they were cartoony, but, you know, they were so much fun to play. I mean, they're um, shooters. And, you know, I think it'd be fun to kind of compete in, in a shooter. And, you know, I'm, really that one wasn't over the top or anything like that. It was simple, you know. And I, I like the cartooniness of it, you know, I mean, whereas, um, you get, like, um, Modern Warfare, you see people blowing people's heads off and all how graphic it is. And it's not that I'm a wuss when it comes to graphic, to graphics, like blood and gore and shit, but I don't know, I, I'd just rather play... Um, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare. Just because um, it, it just seems more fun to me with the cartooniness of it, you know? Alright. So what were we going to do with you? I think first aid is what we were going to do with you. Just to get you to advance. Alright. Okay.
make sure there's nothing here, which there isn't. Okay. You're lucky I missed. There we go. There we go. We got both the crime lords dealt with now. <laughs> I love having Tally in my party because her tech mines just do so much damage. When you set her up right, she does so much damage. She really does. A Polaris. Okay, that's for Mr. Erdnot. Yes, it is. Prodigy ate shit. Okay. Actually, why don't we give you the Prodigy for now? Because... We might need it for Liara. Ooh! We got some Quarian armor. That's rare to find. Damn right, and it's an upgrade too. Hell yeah. What do you have? You have a kinetic buffer? Yeah, okay. All right. Ooh, an exoskeleton upgrade. Nice. Yoink. There we go. Kinetic buffer upgrade for Tally. There you go. There we go. Two. Okay. And there we go. That should be everything in here. Let me check behind here just in case. Nothing? Alright. Yep, nothing. All right, we'll deal with the anomaly, and then we'll go talk to Helena Blake. Actually, we may not sell the stuff before seeing Liara. We might want to just hold on to it. That way then we have enough stuff to equip her with. So now we'll deal with this anomaly.
Okay. We'll deal with the Worthington here in a second. Looks like this vessel was abandoned. Everything shut down. Only basic life support is running. Oh, I know this one. Did you hear that? Sounded like footsteps. We need to shoot these canisters. No accident. The whole place could be a trap. Oop, I didn't quite get it. There we go. There, that should be all of them. There might be more, but... Okay, yeah, that should be all of them. It looks like that machine is keeping him alive. I'm not seeing any brain activity on the readouts. He's dead. This body is just an empty shell. Maybe we should shut the machine down. It's the merciful thing to do. It's your decision, Shepard. But maybe we should wait until we know more about what's going on before we do anything. Okay, so to do this, you actually have to go around and listen to the logs? Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. There we go. Open up this one. They say Jacob's gone. They say his brain isn't functioning anymore. And they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him. And it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless. So damn angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down. But I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't! Okay, so you can kind of tell that Julia loved Jacob. No, not, nope, there's no item in here. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... Okay, so Julia attacked. There we go. Why are you using your assault rifle there, Tally? Shit, you should be either using a... pistol or shotgun. You shouldn't be using assault rifle.
You did the right thing, Shepard. There we go. Now we can get out of here. And now we'll deal with Helena Blake. Okay. So now we go to Fortuna to deal with Helena Blake. Survey says. <laughs> Okay. Okay, squad, you get a point. We're going to do your neural shock. Okay. Actually, we'll deal with the two deposits first. Here we go, another four here. Okay. Deal with that deposit, and then we'll go get the other extra stuff before we go see Helena Blake. No, before I forget, tomorrow is uh, Harvest Moon for us here in the United States. And they were saying on the news when um, 
I was having lunch today. I went to the Chinese. There's a Chinese restaurant I went to lunch to today after I went to the pharmacy. And while I was waiting for them to cook my lunch, um, I was, they had the news on. And I was just listening to the weather guy. And he was saying, oh, yeah, um, well, technically today, now that it's midnight, um, tonight will be the harvest moon. It'll be a big moon, and they said, get your telescopes out because you'll really get to see the moon. Well, I do have a telescope in my closet. I'm going to pull it out, and I'm going to see about um, looking at it. Okay. Nice. And we're getting good credits for getting all this extra stuff, too. That's why I always go after the extra stuff. Not only that, but free items and experience, you know? Always do it, man. I mean, I know sometimes it's like, oh, this is boring, but, you know, I mean, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. There we go. All right. Now we get to go see Helena Blake. And there's no enemies here because all you're doing is talking to Elena Blake. Okay, and in the building we go. Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. I killed them because they deserve it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. 
Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with you. This gang has a reputation for drugs and slaving. It's too late to change that. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps this organization has been so tainted by those two idiots that it cannot be redeemed. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If, if I, I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a specter. Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Okay, we leveled up for this. Okay, so what were we working on? Okay. First aid, I think. There we go. I do want to come around, check around, see if there's any items. I don't think there are, but you never know. Nope, they're in. Okay. Yep, they're in. Okay. It's only if you, um, if you fight Elena Blake. Okay. Let's get out of here. Now we're ready to go um, deal with Liara. But we'll um, see about searching around the Artemis Tau Cluster, too. We will be way overpowered for this because you're really supposed to pick up Liara first before doing anything. So, we're going to be way overpowered for this. I think I came to one of these before, but I can't remember which one. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Okay. So we'll go to this one next. We'll land there just to check out what's going on there later. Survey says... <laughs> Okay, get some money. <laughs> Bring out Rex. Because I don't know if we're going to fight anything or not. Okay. What were we working on with Rex? Okay, we'll do stasis to advance with you.
I don't know why some level one hazards we don't get affected by, but others we do. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if that's tagged to the combat armor talent or what, but. I know towards the end of the game we don't get affected by any of the hazards. And my guess is because I get the combat armor talent as high as I can. Okay, here's our deposit. There it is. Nice bit of money for it, too. Get you. Okay, what are we going to find at this anomaly, I wonder? Pretty far away, though. Okay, there's a capsule. There we go, another sorry writing. We'll mark the destination, but we'll get this um, mineral first.
because there's a level one hazard we're being affected by, I have to stay in the um, Mako to fight these guys. Damn, I blew him to high heaven. <laughs> There we go. So we're just killing a bunch of pirates here, it looks like. Okay. Ooh. We can do... That. Oh, I know this one. You're supposed to talk to... There we go. You're supposed to talk to Nasana uh, Dantius on the Citadel after you um, meet Liara. There we go. You get an upgrade. You get an upgrade. Okay. And it looks like I'm not going to get this one. Yep, I'm not going to get this one. They make them easier if you fail. There we go. If you do this after you meet up with Liara, the Nasana Dantius ends up calling you and saying, Hey, I need to talk to you on the Citadel. And she tells you to come after her sister. But since we already just killed her killed this Asari, um, which was her sister, Dahlia, she won't call us. We could just go right to her on the Citadel. But we'll wait until after we get Liara to do that. Firestorm. Which doesn't do shit for you. We'll do it for you instead.
Ooh, a heavy Krogan! Nope. Okay. That Manus is gonna do good for you. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. There you go, an upgrade to Exoskeleton. Might be another upgrade for Ashley. We'll have to check her out. Okay. Let's get out of here. I think I know which one we need to go to to get to Liara, so we'll check the other one first, and then we'll go see Liara, and I will do her mission before calling it a day for this episode. Because her mission isn't really that long, so... Okay, there we go. I love Fig Newtons. They're so good. This was the one we were supposed to go to, son of a bitch. <laughs> I always get confused which one is the one with Theram in it, and this is the one. Son of a bitch. Oh well, we'll just explore all this, and then we'll go to the other one and get all that done first, and then we'll deal with Liara. Nothing. Okay. Okay, and there was nothing else here, so... Here we go. So since we're fighting Geth, I mean, yeah, we're fighting some other enemies too, but mostly Gath, we'll just bring our tech people with us. Okay, so we don't have to look at the map 
because this is just uh strange readings really strange like off the damn charts it looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone okay so like i said you don't have to look at the map there's no like anomalies or ores you need to investigate this is just a straightforward path just stay out of the lava i mean that shouldn't need to be said but when i first was playing this game i didn't realize the red stuff was lava <laughs> Okay, here's our first fight. And there's an there's a level up for us. What are we working on? Assault training for you? Okay. And then we'll get your tactical armor max. That's what we'll do with you. All right. Combat scanner, we need that. There. We're not going to knock down the front door, Callie. We're just going to kill the turrets so we can get the experience. There we go. Juggernaut, there we go. Boom. Commander Shepard, expert gut hunter. Boom. There. Yeah, I don't like um, fighting in the Mako anymore, because like I said, I've heard you get more experience fighting on foot. This is the way we, we're supposed to go, but um, we need to go around and check the um, little alcoves or whatever you call these. Because there's hidden items in there. Upgrade to incinerary rounds. Boink. What did I just put them on? Okay.
Okay, there's a gate control over there. We don't need to deal with it. Ooh, a silverback. For Mr. Garrus. Damn right, brother. You get a you get a new What do you have on? Shock absorbers? You can have an exoskeleton. Though, really, you really need a uh, kinetic buffer instead, though. There you go. Damn it. I hit the wrong button. I hate it when I do that. I hate it when I hit the grenade button by accident. Even though I never really use grenades, you know? What I'm thinking of doing is setting this character up for um, hardcore and insanity mode. I don't know. I might do a run of Hardcore and Insanity. Because I've done it on the PS3. That's the gate control you want to deal with. Um, I think there's just an item in the other one. There's an item over here, too. Okay. Nothing, okay. Okay. Get in the vehicle, let's get the hell out of here. Did it without stopping. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> that one I had to stop. Because I was kind of worried about going into lava. Boom. Advanced first aid. And now we'll deal with your combat armor. Just get you maxed. Tactical armor for you. First aid for you. Colossal Colossus. There we go. They're worth good experience, though. I'll give you that. I remember the first time I played this game, I couldn't drive the Mako worth a shit because I couldn't understand how to steer it. You know, I didn't realize you're supposed to use the camera to steer it.
Always kill your Geth. Always do it because, you know, like I said, you get experience, you get credits. May as well just do it. They're in your way anyway, so. Boom. Oh, we didn't get them all in one shot. I thought we did. Nope, we didn't. That's okay. Killing one with a machine gun isn't bad. But what I will do is now I'll come through here. And we'll start killing enemies with my sniper rifle. Ah, almost had him. There, I got him. Got him. Got him. Boom. Ah, nice. I got confused here, too, because I thought you were supposed to bring the Mako here, but, um, you don't. Boom, I got him in the head. There he is. Boom, there we got him. Alright. Oh, is there another one? Perimeter clear. Yeah, I thought there was another one. Boom, we got him. Got him. Okay. And that's how you take out the enemies like that. <laughs> Nice. Okay, I need to get the sniper rifle out. Just to get him out. Not his ass. Okay, yeah, we need to switch to the assault rifle here. We need better cover, too.
There. Now we can use Unity. Yeah, I like the cryo rounds a little better, actually, than the proton rounds. Where's the other one? There he is. Or there he was. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright. Shotgun has... You. You. Okay, I do want to swap. Just so we can... There. Well, actually, what am I thinking? We need our guns equipped. So we can... Not all the enemies. Headshot there. That's a free headshot right there. Oh, that shock trooper's on his way up, it looks like. Boom, we got him. Perimeter secured. Well, you say that now, Garris, but it won't be here in a second. No scope. That was impressive. Most Prothean ruins have nothing more than dead instrumentation. That was impressive that I took it out no scope. <laughs> Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Okay, so what I want to do... Okay. Okay, now I want to take the photo. 
There we go. Okay. So. Not you. Got you. Got you. Got you. That should be all of them. The mining laser we'll deal with in a minute. There's items hidden back here. Okay. Stabilizer. We'll want to upgrade that. No, we don't need to. Okay. But I do want to make sure Garrus and Tally have better weapons. Thunder is even better. Okay. Sniper rifle. Okay, pistols. You get a Ryko. The stiletto's even better. Okay. You really just need tech cooldown bonus. All right. Now it's been a while since I've done this, so I can't remember the combination. There we go. Second try, that's not bad. Way past the barrier. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. Wait, Commander. Can we trust her? Her mother's working with Saren. I am not my mother. I don't even. I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? 
Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter. That's how you take down the enemies. <laughs> yeah, those cryo rounds are the best, man. I don't know why I've never used them until now. Forest run. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. 
The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Okay. Well, that'll be it for this episode. We got Liara on board. 
So, hope you all had fun. I did. And I will see you all in the next episode.